My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Check out this gorgeous 1970 AMX. It has the 390 Go Pack, which has Ram Air, also has power steering, power disc brakes, 354 Posi, and yeah, that's a four speed I see sticking out of the floor there. What also makes this car special is 57,000 miles, rust free, and it's a factory black car. It was built the first day of production. Serial number ends in 74. It's the 74th AMC built in 1970. So it's got some neat stuff going for it. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures. And that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we have for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, it'd be my pleasure. Let's go for a spin. I got this car from a, a good seller, uh, someone we've known a long time. He owns his own body shop. That's what he's done for a living. Uh, he's a car collector. He's not a car flipper. He's not fixing them up to resell them. He's had this car in his collection for a long time. Matter of fact, I tried to buy it a year or two ago from him. Uh, but anyway, he knows cars and uh, this is a good one. Underneath the car, looks like it's completely solid. It has the factory undercoat that someone's taking the time to clean and they put some nice fresh black paint on it very neatly so it looks fresh. The front end components are clean. Uh, you know, control arms are nice, smooth metal. There's some miscellaneous new bushings in that so the front end looks good. The rear leaf springs look new. Uh, they put air shocks in the back. Dual exhaust system with a, like a glass pack style muffler with chrome tips. You'll hear what it sounds like in a little bit. The motor was out and uh, supposedly rebuilt. It runs perfect. Uh, Jack told me it doesn't get hot. It just runs strong all day long. So the, when you look up at the motor, the paint is super fresh. It's not even oily or greasy or anything like that. Also, when you're looking up at the motor, you can see 390 is cast right on the blocks. We do know it's a 390 motor. It has a high torque starter. Uh, the four speed transmission looks clean. And it has the 354 uh, Posi rear end. I think they call it a twin grip. Uh, 354 Posi in the back. The go pack, uh, part of that does include the disc brakes, the special handling package the 354 Posi and the Ram Air. This is all part of the Go Pack, which this car has. Eddie Stakes is an AMC uh, guy, guru, whatever you want to call it. He has a, a website that's all about AMCs. He's familiar with this car, and he said that's the earliest 1970 AMC, AMX that he's aware of. Uh, supposedly, it was a AMC collector that owned it for most of its life. A uh, guy bought it when it was a year old, so it was a used car, and he owned it up until recently uh, is the story. It's had a couple owners over the last five or ten years, but most of its life was a one-owner car. Uh, the black paint is stunning. Like I said, I got it from a, a body shop guy. He wouldn't have a wavy car. He did not paint it. Uh, this is the way he got it. But yeah, it is absolutely straight. And it's a mirror. I, I could read a newspaper in this paint. Uh, and it's absolutely straight. There's no bubbles. All down here, I checked it out before we started filming. The gaps are all real nice and square and flush. And I'm telling you, it is just straight. Every inch of it is straight. I think they call it the blister hood. I just learned that when I was reading up on these. So this is the actual Ram Air. Someone put the screens in here. I was told the non-Ram Air cars have screens, but they liked how it looked. But that is a functional Ram Air. Front bumpers re-chromed. The trim, the grill, all of that's just, this is all really nice original condition. And that hood is square and flush. 
The wheels are restored, new shiny trim rings, the BF Goodrich tires are in excellent shape. Marker lights excellent, 390 emblem. I like the uh, covers down on the rockers, kind of looks like side exhaust. That's really nice, it's not beat up. The glass is all real nice and clear. It's got the nice mirrors. Original door handles, original trim, again, all very nice. It's all straight, you know, it has some minor patina, but really good. The red, white, and blue AMX, American Motors. So the taillight lens is excellent. It's not cracked, nice and shiny, clear. The bumper's been re-chromed. Now check this out. Also part of the Go Pack was this collapsible spare tire. It has the air bottle. It's all in real nice looking shape. Uh, it has the jack underneath it. The trunk has been spatter painted very neatly, not a five minute job. Someone prepped it and sprayed it real nice. It's got new weather strip, new trunk mat. The bottom of the trunk lid and the jam are all gloss black as the reproduction decals. The interior is in really nice shape. Door jams are painted real slick. The bottom of the doors, the seam is just really nice and clean. So AMC wasn't all concerned about numbers matching back then like some of the other car companies were, but you have a tag riveted to this valve cover and I just decoded the tag and it is uh, 390 and it was uh, an early August build on the date on the tag. So the best we can tell, this is the original motor for the car. We were told it was rebuilt. It's all fresh looking. It does have a new uh, Holly carburetor with electric choke, and it also has a new set of Doug's headers on there. Power steering, power brakes. The Ram Air, like I said, is functional. There's a solenoid on the hood that opens and closes a flap in there that, that's all working. Door panels are in excellent shape. The armrest, window cranks, all that's really nice. The upholstery on the seats look brand new. The backs of the seats are real nice. All across the dash, the wood grain uh, is real nice. The gauges, has a tachometer. Uh, the heater control panel looks nice. Carpet's excellent. Has a tilt column, has an aftermarket walnut steering wheel, has an Alpine stereo in the dash. Six by nine speakers with an amplifier up under there. Uh, the motor compartment, it's got the fan shroud, uh, the metal is all clean, doesn't look like it's ever been twisted or rusted, it's all clean uh, and proper looking in here. So why don't we, uh, why don't we fire it up? It's got the seat belts, and the carpet obviously runs all the way to the back, there's no back seat, it's all in real nice shape. Headliner, visors, and mirror are excellent. Has a low fuel light that just came on because it's low on fuel. It works, tachometer works. It's idling high just like it's supposed to till it warms up. Once it warms up, the idle comes down. But man, number one thing going for this car is that black paint job. This thing's just stunning. I don't know if I've seen another one. It looks amazing. Really like this car. And then all the other good stuff, the go pack and steering and brakes and four speed. 
I haven't driven it, but I bet it's a blast. That's my impression. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you have specific concerns or questions, please ask them. They will help you the best they can. We can get this delivered anywhere in the world. We can help with financing. All at volocars.com. If you like watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next video posted. Thanks for watching.